coming to you live from Publix. Always organic if it's a choice. I'm gonna film my eye makeup on camera. Good morning guys. I am so stressed out right now because as you can see, half of my room has like all of my boxes and bags and um, trash bags full of like clothes and stuff like that. It's not gonna be fun. I actually went to Athens for almost a week. I was there to see Ryan's brother and his brother's girlfriend graduate. So I literally just dropped off my stuff here, grabbed Sophie and then went to Athens and stupid me forgot my vlogging camera. Like I literally forgot my whole purse, like the, my secondary purse. I had my wallet and everything and my little satchel thing. I felt so stupid for getting my vlogging camera. Like that's so unlike me. So I couldn't vlog there. And that was really sad because like I feel like we made you know quite a bit of memories there but it's okay because we're gonna go back to Athens like a couple times this summer I think so since I didn't bring my vlogging camera I decided to make a little short Instagram story with my big camera and it's just kind of like a little mini guide to Athens and I thought it would be really cute to show you guys so here it is <laughs> start unpacking I don't even know how because in my mind I feel like well I'm just gonna like have to repack everything and go back to Orlando so soon but it's not like actually soon it's like in August but like I don't know I just really don't want to unpack <sighs> but I have to since I am moving into um, my sorority house next year which also I guess I didn't really explain this in my um vlog about the apartment um, advice one. Basically, I am moving into my sorority house because being on council, you actually kind of have to or get the privilege to, honestly, because it's really competitive to get in the house. So council gets like first pick of rooms and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And at first, when I came into the sorority, I was like, no, I'm not living in the house because I have to share a room with another girl. But honestly, I get lonely so easily and I just feel like it's going to be a lot more fun when I have a roommate and so many other girls to like just like knock on their door and be like hey what's up like let's talk you know what I mean so I'm really excited for that but the only thing is that I'm gonna have to downgrade a lot as you guys know I have like all my tech equipment and stuff like that which n normal people don't have I'm like just not normal and another reason why there's so many trash bags on my floor right now with clothes in them is because I brought so many winter clothes down to Orlando and that was such a mistake. It's only cold for like maybe a week in Orlando so I was very dumb when I did that because I brought so many like big chunky sweaters and like scarf blanket things and it just took up a lot of room. So I'm glad I can take them home and just like leave them here um, for the next winter. This morning I went to the gym with Ryan and then we swam a little and it felt so good to be in a pool. I love swimming so much but it was like weird because it was like kind of cold outside and like this whole weekend it was like actually freezing here in Georgia and I was just like did I jinx it because like when I left Orlando I was like oh it's such a good time to leave it was like burning out there but now it's like super cold up here I don't know I'm just very confused right now but today I'm going grocery shopping with my mom and I did want to eat a lot healthier this summer and like actually try to lose weight like last summer um because I don't have my sorority meal plan so I need to go to the grocery store and uh get some you know food veggies fruits all that stuff and I know some people like grocery hauls so I'm gonna definitely do one later today and then I have to fix my freaking phone let me just show you if I didn't have a screen protector it'd be like probably stabbing my thumb and it's not like super bad and it was already cracked but like today I dropped it and it cracked even more honestly I was just waiting for it to like shatter more so I can get it fixed and I just found out that I had the sprint total repair plan thing so I'm wondering how much it costs to like 
actually fix my phone screen and hopefully I can get it done like today in less than like an hour. That would be like so nice. I also want to film a video on this palette. So Coastal Scents actually sent me this palette. So I wanted to do like a little review for you guys just because I want to put out as much content as I can over the summer. So I thought it would be like a cute idea to do just like a mini eye tutorial. Um, and so it has like all these really cool shades. It's like cool tone, which is kind of out of my comfort zone, but I thought it'd be cool to just do something different because I literally always use my Morphe 350 palette. I bet you guys are so sick and tired of like seeing that in my videos. So um, I'm gonna do a look with that and hopefully I can pull it off. I feel like the last time I wore cool tones was seventh grade, but who knows, I got better at makeup, so maybe it will look a lot better, hopefully. Also, if you guys are interested in this palette, I'll have a link down below to it because it's their new palette. It actually launches on May 9th, so I think it might be lunch by the time this vlog is up. I just have so many vlogs to catch up on. So definitely check out this palette if you are into cool tones. Coming to you live from Publix. We have a lot of stuff, you know, stocking up for the summer. Got some, what's it called, Dis detergent and stuff like that. And my mom's helping me with all the healthy stuff. Okay guys, so I just went shopping. We went to Publix. I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff first so we can get that in the freezer. Um, so <clears throat> my mom got these. These are like Chloe's Pops dark chocolate. They're like kind of weird tasting. I just tasted it and I didn't really like it, but she wanted them, so that's hers. So this is raspberry and mango. These are for me. There's the same Chloe Pops things and each one is 60 calories. Then I got some like cheese broccoli things. I think there's like four in here and they're just like cups that you can just stick in the microwave. 40 calories. Applegate honey and maple turkey breast. My mom always says, don't get the ones with nitrates in it. Mm. Always organic, if it's a choice, always organic. Or not, because it's more expensive. Then this is really exciting. We actually got acai, is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is like the pure acai one. There was also one with like kale in it, but I just want to try this first. This is going to be really exciting, because I've never like made an acai bowl myself. We went to Brazil, I think, and we had pure. Mm -hmm. and it was like really good. But like the acai bowls, like the smoothie bowls type things, they're not like mm -hmm. that. It's mm -hmm. weird when, when you buy it like at like places here. Then she got me cauliflower rice with like vegetables in it and stuff so I can make it like fried rice. This one is like sweet potato cauliflower fried rice, so that should be cool. I got two frozen organic strawberries for my smoothies in the morning. So then we got sockeye salmon. Then I got <clears throat> this chicken breasts. They're individually packed, so they're gonna be really easy to cook, hopefully. My dad specifically asked for this brand of eggs, Nellie's free range eggs, so we got them that. Ba um, baby arugula, baby spinach. So we got some bell peppers. Then I got some balsamic vinaigrettes, like the blueberry one. I don't know what how it's taste but my mom recommended it then we got white cheddar and we're about to eat this right now it looks amazing it's like hawaiian tuna roll hawaiian roll tuna look how freaking good that looks for like a Publix roll like are you kidding me then i got sweet potatoes because i've seen like the like toast like you can cut them up into like bread toast things and you can like eat in as like avocado toast so i thought that was cool and you don't really have to eat like bread and like be super curvy cottage cheese low fat organic <laughs> feta cheese for salads baby sweet grape tomatoes for like omelets and stuff spaghetti squash because i've always wanted to like try this because i've always seen like tasty videos with this also wanted to try this for a while these are like dried coconut things and then i got orzo because I've seen like a lot of cool like pasta salad recipes with this. Red grapes, some kind of apple. I decided to try something else other than Honeycrisp apples. And I was really upset about it, but Honeycrisp are just, just like stupid expensive. And I got bananas, raspberries, blueberries, avocados, pomegranate, limes, and parchment paper because it's more environmentally friendly than aluminum foil. Yes. So this biodegrades a easier. lot easier than aluminum foil. And that's it for our grocery haul.
except for like detergent and stuff, but that's kind of boring, so I'm not gonna show you guys. But we are gonna go eat our sushi and then hopefully go to a Sprint store where they're hopefully going to fix my phone in less than an hour. We'll see about that. So we just got to North Point Mall and we didn't realize the Sprint store was in the mall, which is slightly annoying, but also if it takes a long time, then we can just like walk around in the mall. I haven't been here in a while. So we went into North Point Mall and the Sprint store wasn't there. Honestly, it probably, used to be there and then it's just not anymore since that phone number didn't work i don't know but it wasn't there and then we found out this is the only closest one and it was like not even close to us so we can drive one that repairs repairs yeah this one is the closest one that repairs phones and then we found out that i'm probably gonna have to send my phone out because it's an iphone 7 plus and they don't fix them in store so Hopefully they have a loaner phone for me, and if not, I could just use my old iPhone, but I mean, it'd just be easier since so they can like do it all in store because I didn't really want to go back home and get my um, other phone. So we are at the Sprint store pretty far away, and hopefully we can get this done really fast because I want to go home and film the video before I hang out with my friends tonight. So I'm doing my makeup right now, and actually I'm gonna film my eye makeup on camera. I wanted to do like a quick tutorial because I feel like I don't really do like just eye tutorials, and I always repeat like all my products, like Makeup Forever HD Stick, you know, Derma Blend Setting Powder. You guys know. So unless I'm gonna do like an everyday makeup routine, I feel like I should just like maybe just do the eyes because that's like what's gonna be different. So I'm just finishing up my face makeup really quick. I'm gonna do bronzer next. When I was packing, I went through like all the makeup that I don't use, and this was in it, the um, Casino Bronzer by NARS. It is honestly like one of the most perfect shades for me. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think I was just being like greedy because it hit pan, and I don't know, I didn't wanna use it anymore, I guess, because I don't wanna buy anymore, because it's pretty expensive. It's like more than $40, and I don't know. It's just such a pretty color, but I also do like a darker bronzer. So I usually go over it with a darker bronzer, but I just think it's like, if I wanted like a natural bronzer, this is like the best one for my skin color. And again, it's um, Casino Bronzer by NARS. But yeah, that's like almost the only thing that's really different from my face makeup routine so far. So I forgot my vlogging camera because I ran out of the house. I actually was trying to edit majority of the video because I want to get this video up as soon as possible. But right now I'm on my way to my friend Jill's house. But I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog that much just because I haven't seen all my friends in a while and I kind of want to like, you know, enjoy it. I'm starving. Um, Jill is actually making us burgers so that sounds really, really good. I'm probably gonna opt out of just like the bun part just to save a little bit of calories and carbs there. But I think she's making baked beans too and when I was at um, Mike's graduation, Ryan's brother's graduation, we actually ate at the Bolton Dining Hall in uh, UGA and they had baked beans and I swear I haven't had baked beans in like forever and so I had to get them and I, I literally couldn't stop eating them, they were so good.